You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe it's to the up. homie Clubhouse yeah. TV. Yeah. Subscribe. It's the block. The clubhouse TV. Say whack. You know what? I appreciate you not tripping. I see what it is. I say yeah, cause these niggas right now really want to get you. Do think it's like, and it ain't like that. You gonna be out somewhere getting gas at a hamburger stand one day, and somebody gonna spot your ass. Cause his mind ain't thinking. Pay attention. Adam, no. And I told, I said, Adam, when it happened, when you play the game with me, we blowing you first on Paul Rue. What that mean? What that mean is we're going to turn it on you first. That's how it's going to go. That's what that mean. It ain't going to be a bunch of hit niggas and on the run niggas and you sitting here, nigga, you crazy? Poetic Flacco squabbles with MJTV during No Jumper interview and WAC 100 reacts. He also says Adam is going to get someone unalived at No Jumper, and if something happens, Adam is getting it first. Shout out WAC 100, the whole 100 side, spin the block. Appreciate y'all checking out Clubhouse TV. Let's run the content. Spin the block. Hey, did the nigga Flacco, did the nigga Flacco really uh, throw hands with one of those uh other content creators that uh, popped up on the show, Adam had brought a nigga up there. I don't, I don't know, bro. Okay, listen. Them dudes do no jumper um, Monday through Friday, every day, from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. I'll be there Thursday from 5 to 8. So. That is crazy. Oh, no, I, was, I, know, I, know, I know that. I know you don't be there when they hey, but I'm at, I, I thought you might have heard sell. That, that building, like, sell. Everybody know the building now, bro. He ain't dropping the dot. The niggas is live. Crazy. They live, nigga. They be live. They be like, live, like, right, dope. like, they don't do high They be live. Man. They do their show live, like, right there. Everybody look at that's real time. Everybody know what's building that, man. Think about it. Them guests, people that been there, ain't there, used to work there, don't work there. The artists, like, who don't know where that building at? How you think they pull up on niggas? The them fact niggas, that them niggas be live, like live streaming, so you know everybody you see is sitting in the building at that point in time. The fact that Adam only that's brought crazy. the nigga up there because he had an issue with Flacco is crazy. So that's yeah, like that's what I was gonna say. That shit is real if, too. If if somebody know the nigga because the AJTV nigga he's sm he a small time YouTuber, but if some no, that's if, real. He's been if somebody if like somebody with now. no name was arguing with one of the co-hosts on on, on no hey, that wasn't Adam. The nigga bro, Adam's been bringing him up w. there just to talk. I don't about know, bro. Like, you know, that was Adam. Bro, that's uh, yeah. That's that's um. That's the shit no, Adam doing. Nah, nah. No he jumper, just, uh, but DW and P Nice on their show, and they still had it. This was their idea. Flocko was on there, and they told him he was going to bring the nigga up there. That wasn't Adam. Yeah, Adam's. but the nigga did it the whack. The nigga brought uh, I know, but that's a different situation. Mickey Troop up saying, there. Right? I'm, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying. Like, facts are facts. The nigga brought Mickey Troop up there behind whack back, though. Right, but that's a different Yeah, but thing. this Go is ahead. the thing, right? Listen, that is... Um, hey. That's Adam's show. Nah, that's this is why I did my contract the way I did it, right? The reason why I do what I do and talk crazy to him the way I do is because I'm a partner with you on our show. We down the middle with it. I, I, I don't work for you. We hustling together. The rest of them niggas work for him. Nah, but you see the goofy shit he doing, right? I mean, he doing what they're lying. I mean, it's them. his. It's his show. You it's ain't never course. seen me in there with him and I say, watch your mouth. I'll break your shit on this camera. He know I'm serious. As a mother, I don't worry about his security. My homies out there, they are mopping security up. I ain't right. worrying about none of that. But right, like, so when he get to doing too much, I be like, bro, watch that. Don't play. Like, I will take off on him right now. But right example here. though, example though, you was about to take off on Flacco because he brought some niggas up there disrespecting your hood, right? No, Flacco turned around and brought the niggas back. I looked out for Flacco that day. I lied to my homies and told him wasn't on no jumper because I know if I'd have brought him with me, they were so hot they'd have flighted the nigga. You know, Flacco, he you know, he he Flacco from North Dakota, he, his brain ain't, he don't get what's going on. Like, his his mind is, L.A. is what's in no jumper. Yeah. 
he, he kind of work like Adam work. His man is like on some. And one, that's why green Friday, green shit. when he saw us come out Friday, he said, Whack, you know what? I appreciate you not tripping. I see what it is. I said, Yeah, because these niggas right now really want to get you. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you know, dude think it's like, and it ain't like that. You're going to be out somewhere getting gas at a hamburger stand one day, and somebody going to spot your ass. Because his mind ain't thinking, pay attention. Yeah, he green. I think that nigga be trying shit. I don't think that nigga is naive as niggas think. I think he be trying to push a line to see how far he go. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. That nigga just green. That nigga ain't slow, bro. He is green when it comes to street shit. Yeah, he like, he is, but he know the consequences for the I, shit he do. I, 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 I asked Wack if if he heard about the nigga really throwing hands with the nigga AG whoever because I uh the, the nigga a little nigga though right. But the little nigga was popping all that shit. Uh, he told the nigga to come up. He's like, "Yeah, nigga, I'm up here. I'm up here at your at your job, nigga. Come up here right now." He was talking crazy to Flacco. Flacco brought that fat ass up there, and, and and he was about to throw hands on the nigga around the camera. The niggas was like, "Nah, too much equipment in here. Y'all go outside." And you can hear Flacco saying, "Yeah, because come outside." So I wanted to know if, if Flacco really put hands on Cuz. Oh that, no. That, oh. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Bro, when I get to that building, I do was running away. Them niggas leave. Flacco too? Flacco will be there sometime and Sharp will be there. And DW and Flame and Peanuts will be there. The rest of them niggas, I ain't never seen them niggas in my life. Any other day, they say they did to the security be like, whack. I'll be having to put these niggas out so I can go home. He said, Thursday is the only day I normally leave on time because you coming. He said about 4, 4, 30, them niggas out of here. Yeah. The nigga and Shark got a squabble. You squabbled him, right? The nigga Shark got a squabble. Who squabbled him? Who you talking about? I ain't squabbled no Shark. You ain't, you ain't getting into a Shark? Oh, you said that you was a still play. believe. Y'all be believing. Any little shit. that was a play. That nigga put a clip up. That nigga put a clip up. They still believe. Who? That's me and four extras. <laughs> They lucky I don't run plays because as naive as these might be, boy, they create all kinds. Oh, well, that's confusing a little bit, bro. You, that ain't... Don't get confusing, bro, because I've never seen four X's in my life. Um, Sharp is a very nice guy in person. What? Uh, the, nigga, the nigga was sort of insinuating as if y'all did have a squabble. Send you waiting. We did have a squabble. Yeah, Sharp ain't gonna put his a, hands on nobody I mean, but a bit. I'm only saying squabble. I'll never say that shit. I'm only saying that shit because you know I mean that's that's how y'all need to talk over that. You say so, bro. So Sharp say we got a fight. No, nah, I'm talking about during the whole time it was going on. Not I ain't talking about no recent like that. You know what was going on? Through. When y'all, whenever y'all was having y'all debacles, y'all was going back and forth. When you was uh, you was. He was talking academics, but you was more. You know what I mean? Academics was your man. You was letting the nigga know. Academics and Sharp don't got nothing to do with me. I, I told Sharp to go to New York and do the interview. If he was smart, go tap into the nigga fan base. Who's Sharp to tap, tap into academics? That's what I told the nigga to do. He was too emotional. I said, go to New Jersey. Go out there here in Jersey. Go do the interview. What's the problem? You think academics going to do something to you? Go over there and tap into his fan base. You trying to grow? That's what I would have did. If I was him. Okay. He asked me to go out there with him. I said, I'll go out there with you. What, you'll come with me? You want me to? You scared? He didn't do it. Look at him. Hey, Nisha, I'll put that clip of Flacco's fight in the chat. You no know, jumper just, they, they blocked it out, but you can hear it. Uh-huh. They dropped it on a clip channel. So this is something that just happened? Yeah, it's some little nigga he's been beefing with for like a year. And P. Nice and D.W. was yeah, this happened yesterday, joking way. around like, yo, we gonna bring him yeah. on the show and you gonna have to pull up. Yesterday, but bring him on what show? So P. Nice and D.W. Flame came back to no jumper. What am no, I? No, no, no. Back when they had their show, Flacco was on there and they were talking about the people he was beefing with, right? And this is one of the niggas, so... They, he made a promise to them that he would bring that nigga up there. So they locked it in back then. But obviously, they don't got the show no more. So I guess Adam still went through with it. And it looks like he pulled up today or yesterday, whenever they recorded this. Oh, 
And it, yeah, Flacco apparently ran up on him. They say Flacco was chasing the nigga. They say he was running. He, yeah. He and yeah. Flacco yeah, can't play, play guys. No body, my nigga. Huh? I don't believe that. I can play it. it. Regardless, but dope artist and that's dope. I knew it was that's that's already, bro. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I, like I said, I was just joking. Yeah, I was no, hey, that, Brick's dude. my homie, and I'll do a song with BSG tomorrow. You feel me? Get your yeah, money. Bro. Yeah. This shit, the industry. Yeah, yeah, it's time to name it. Oh, shit. 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 Oh shit. Come on. Bro, ain't no Sorry. Come on. Okay. Yeah, at least hey, it's beautiful, man. Y'all go tap in. Bro, ain't no camera, come on. Come on. Okay. Go across the street. No, right? Come on, bro. I didn't get the fight. Come on. Go, come on. Go down the side. Go down the side. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be with you. Come on. 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 Flocko running up on niggas mid interview and shit. That's crazy. So he went from the one getting ran up on to the one doing the running up yeah, on. It's crazy. He went from <laughs> uh, the problem is that Adam don't realize he gonna get somebody killed. That's that's what the problem is. He gonna get somebody killed because if the nigga got in the building, see this is the thing. You got a nigga up there interviewing, right? And it's on you as a company to make sure dude ain't got to deal with shit he ain't want to deal with. He interviewing. Something happened to dude too drastic on that watch. He going to be the one to pay for it. And, and for the record, like, he had Brick Baby, Lush, the nigga that fought Flocko, and some other, other random nigga. Adam was in there, but to your point still, though, like... They still oh, not Adam, the Adam wasn't there. No, Adam he wasn't was there. there. Big baby and Lush and some other random nigga. Adam was nah, there. Adam, Adam, was, Adam was talking to the dude before. I'm saying he's not the All that shit happened. Not in the clip. Adam, it was there. Even if he wasn't, it's his facility. You gotta see the clip, nigga. No, no, that's valid. I'm just Bro, saying in that clip that we watched. If Adam was in that building and he's only gonna be two places in his office, or he's gonna be in the podcast room. Either way. They got the scheduler up there. Dude is the guest. He's the. It's one thing if something happened internally with the niggas that just working no job. Another thing if something happened to the company. Another thing if something happened with the guest. Yeah. Now see, you invited the guest, you scheduled the guest. So now you telling me a month wasn't scheduled to be there to work for no jumper shows up and this happened to the guest. It can get ugly for him. He playing a dangerous game, cuz. Yeah, Adam was talking to Buddy um, about Flacco, and dude was just talking hella shit about Flacco to Adam. And then Adam calls Flacco with dude sitting there on FaceTime and shows shows uh, Flacco that he's there. And dude just starts popping it off on the phone to, oh, yeah, to Flacco, telling right. him to pull up. 
Adam started the interview, and, that, and just that little clip that they dropped, Adam was in that picture. But you're right, though. He started off the interview, initiated it, though. So, Adam making his platform looking like it ain't safe for people to go up there. That shit ain't good. That's a thingy. So, dude was telling Flacco to pull up. Come on up here talking hella shit. Dude called so Flacco, Flacco all Flacco type of big niggas. Dude told Flacco, yo, uh, he's like, yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm at your job. Bitch, go pull up. Flacco said, all, 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 all right, right? Stuttering like a motherfucker. All, all, all right. Pulled up. And then cuz he was like, yeah, look, you bigger than me. I know you whoop my ass. And the nigga Brick Baby was like, why you popping it though? Why you doing all so why is you doing all this popping and shit? You popping it with cuz like you like you want them hands or some shit, but then when he pull up, nigga, you running, nigga. And now you admitting that so you So Adam FaceTime the dude out the flock out of nowhere while the dude was Maybe that shit'll animals. play. Both of them niggas civilians, maybe that shit'll play. Nah, they beat, but they them really niggas might be doing that shit for entertainment. Nah, they really beefing, in my opinion. But you saying yeah, they've been Adam beefing for over a year? Just because they beefing online don't mean they really beefing, though. I bet you this goes. Them niggas know not to come pull up playing when I'm in that motherfucker. Straight up, they know that. See, and that's the, that's they know that. That's one. that's the thing, bro. Like one day, one day somebody gonna go up there playing with the wrong people and some shit gonna happen, and Adam whole platform gonna be up. Yeah, dude, dude was woofing, dude was woofing hard because they called him on the phone. They do what y'all hey, be doing. shit even settled yet? They called Flacco like on the phone and let him know that the little nigga was up there and that they was interviewing him and he was talking crazy. Hey, Wack, let me ask you this. When, when you seeing all this going on up there, right? Do that shit kind of make you like want to pull back from that shit sometime, bro? Nah, ghost. Nigga, we playing like the penitentiary. I, Man, go. <clears throat> I don't give a. I welcome a nigga. Well, I, Adam, no. And I told, I said, Adam, when it happened, when you play the game with me, we blowing you first on Pyro. What that mean? What that mean is we're going to turn it on you first. That's how it's going to go. That's what that means. It ain't finna be a bunch of hit niggas and on the run niggas and you sitting here, nigga, you crazy? Hey, Ghost, you ask this nigga if he wanna pull back like he's some nigga straight out of college and an intern or some shit. Nah, that 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 ain't the point. That ain't that ain't the point of the question. The point is, I know this nigga see what's going on up there. And and just because but a nigga is ready for situations, niggas don't niggas ain't running to them type of shit. I don't play that shit with them little dudes like that, bro. He play that with them little dudes. He know. Adam know the element with me. He know. He know what's sitting around, lurking around all stuff. He know. I didn't tell him. I said, Adam, listen. Anytime we feel you done did some weirdo shit, we gonna deal with it. But you gonna get it first. Adam be talking smart as a more sleek, funny way. Yeah, hey, you not finna. It ain't finna be something that came in and is going up. And he said, "No, you're getting it first. That's just what it is. We don't mind it, but everybody involved gonna be involved. Is it for sure going to the police?" Nigga, we don't give a fuck none of that. When it go, it go. It's gone already. It's already gone. I think that white boy sitting back waiting on some shit to go so he can prove it. You don't even make sense. I don't think you grabbing what niggas is putting down, but. Yeah, bro. You ain't getting it, my nigga. I think Stan G back on drugs. Oh, that was Stan G? Oh, no, let's not, yeah. let's not make it a box. Let's keep, <laughs> he never came off the mark. Keep it on what we was talking about, G. Right. Yeah. But let's Adam, see, watch it. this. I don't know who was with the little dude, but they could have, you yeah, know. They had to be soft because they was chasing them up. Yeah, they, 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 they didn't want nothing, nothing to do with nothing. Yeah, I don't know they who They had to dude. be. How you letting you? How you getting chased? A was a little skinny ass nigga too. You, you got to look at the video. The nigga like thin. He he gotta be like a buck thirty, buck forty. 
soaking wet. You know why he's... I don't know. Adam got Adam got to tighten that shit up, bro. I ain't never been to Vlad shit, but I, I can imagine that Vlad probably his his setup ain't and ain't, 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 people ain't don't have as much access to that shit as people do to no jumper. Right or wrong, wet. That shit more of a death trap than no jumper. For real? Hell yeah. But I'm saying, do he have as many people up there just running around yeah, like nobody? I, no, it's nobody at Vlad but him. The audio guy and two security guards. That's it. Right, right. That's all of it. But uh, if a nigga don't know Vlad's schedule, a nigga cool, cause that shit recorded and then put out. It ain't like it's live and the nigga see you right there, but Vlad nigga can pull up on you. Um, he gotta know. Vlad just seem more organized than Adam do. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. You yeah, know, it's just Vlad. The audio dude and two guards. That's it. And whoever the guest is. That's it. Right. So it's really disclosed. Shit, I gotta do Vlad tomorrow. I just realized that shit. That's it. That shit in Cali too? Yep. What y'all gonna be shopping it up by tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. What do you must wanna ask? Tell him tell him to cut that beard down. Nigga look weird. Hey, Wack, let me ask you something, bro. Because I heard they say niggas don't even really be getting interviewed by Vlad. He be on, like, a tablet or something. And niggas beat up by theyself type shit. I don't know. He be right there. That's who they looking at. When you hear him asking questions, he, he six, he's six feet from you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they said yeah, something. Some people, people, they say he's he's not right there. Some people, he's not right there. Yeah, cause I know that white boy that got out that uh that was that scammer and shit. He was like, man, that nigga wasn't even there. It was just like a tablet set up and shit on the table. Yeah. So, or uh, some shit like that. So he'll show up for the for the legend, the Keefy D's, the uh, who the niggas he always do, the Boosie. He's like that. Did you go get your units? I'm about to go get but when it's some other little little little, little brand nigga, he gonna probably got um send a tablet in his team, bro. I don't know. He uh he always in there when we go over there. So yeah, he do it maybe, for certain people. Maybe he was off location. Maybe it was so. pandemic. No chill. Maybe he was off. Ah, they said that's how he doing. Nah, yeah. because that's how um that's how what's name he do some of his interviews like that too. Say cheese. Yeah, oh, I man. thought you was about to say Cap Capone. I don't think he knows shit, Cap Capone. He, he be lost. My Cap Capone, he doing his fine. He can't hit on this. Yeah, right. right. Why y'all say nigga I'm hate? I'm just saying, oh, I ain't talking about thing. Uh, yeah. Y'all have. <laughs> I ain't dead, that's man. I was talking to you. Hey, Wack, why you didn't do the uh, interview with um, Adam 22 for Terrence Gangster Williams? Why would I? Why would I do that in That'll be back down, baby. Man, hey, I definitely wouldn't do that. At all. I don't know the nigga. And he wouldn't want me to interview with him anyway, because all I'm going to talk about is what he don't want to talk about. He did a great interview. It worked for it. But I'm not going to do that. That's crazy. It's like slapping Birdman face, right? Birdman don't want none of that publicity. He don't want his thing caught up, tied up as shit. Wack 100 gets into it with Terry and Casey Williams. Because <clears throat> what he said about Bird, man, he going to be like, he going to be like, bro, why even talk to the nigga? Why even get the nigga some shine? Let that nigga do what he going to do. And that's real. Like, dude been trying to talk to me somehow. He tried to come on here and talk to me. I wouldn't do it. You know, I be doing what niggas want to do. Ain't no different with Brick, baby. He done begged out him 10 times uh, for me to... Yo, man, tell Wack, let me come on y'all's show. They only want to do it because it's beneficial to them. Don't benefit me now. Clubhouse, Clubhouse TV. TV.
Clubhouse TV. Clubhouse TV. Clubhouse TV. Clubhouse TV. Poetic Flacco, also known as Flacco, is a social media personality, content creator, and podcast host. He gained recognition for his outspoken and often controversial views, which he shares through various platforms, including YouTube, podcasting, and No Jumper. Flacco is known for engaging in debates and discussions on a wide range of topics, including hip hop, culture, and social issues. His style is characterized by a direct and unfiltered approach, which has garnished him both a substantial following and some criticism. The altercation between Poetic Flacco and MJTV has been a notable incident within the online community. Poetic Flacco, known for his presence on YouTube, had a confrontation with MJTV, who is another content creator. The details and context of their conflict are often discussed in relation to their differing opinions and content styles. Flacco is known for putting his nose in gang politics, and as such, there are people who want to hurt Flacco for the things he have said on his platform. WAC 100 has also checked Flacco for running his mouth a few weeks ago, and WAC had to be held back as this could have resulted in a very bad situation for Flacco. Since then, Flacco has told WAC that he understands what he did and he doesn't want anything to happen to him so he will retain from saying things about gang culture that he should not be saying. Flacco has a bright future ahead of him if he can stay out the way of gang members and out of the No Jumper Studios. Flacco reminds me of a baby DJ Academics and I do enjoy his content. I just hope he can continue to bring it to us. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're always first to get the newest Clubhouse WAC 100 content. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please subscribe to the media team. That's me, Clubhouse TV, Clubhouse Unlocked, Clubhouse Shenanigans, Ray Give TV, and the Ruminati Network. As always, I certainly appreciate you checking out Clubhouse TV, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.